Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. Thank you so much uh, for to my uh, new YouTube subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that uh, you guys are finding some uh, some uh, good content here. And here we go. I'm gonna create another one of my uh, oil paintings. Let's go, let's, let's do this. <laughs> All right. So um, today we're gonna be doing a, a uh, sort of a dock, right? Where the, where the, where the, where the a boat, Dock or pier, boardwalk, something like that. <laughs> so bear with me, guys. Here we go. This is an 11 by 14 inches canvas board. Okay, I like to do this once because uh, I earlier in my career I was doing a lot of plein air uh, paintings. Those of you who don't know what plein air painting is, it just means uh, painting out in the open air. Okay, so I was doing a lot of that, and and I got used to painting on this um, canvas panels or canvas boards that were are perfect for that type of painting, just because you know you can take them anywhere you want, that kind of thing. Um, lately, I've been getting asked uh, the question of why. Uh, um, why uh, use this approach of painting or, or you know, the, the, the type of uh, sort of a sketch, quick, uh, plein air style type or, well, they don't, it's not really asked that way. It's more like, I'm, I'm a, I think, I think quick and how does that uh, affect, you know, probably uh, the end, the end price or the, the, what do you call it? The, the value perceived, I guess, by the people, right? By the collector. Um, that's something that I'm going to be talking about with full detail on another video. I've, t I've, I've touched on it before, but, but I'm going to be talking about it with full detail on another video because um, that's not the right way of looking at it. If, uh, if you're an artist and you're equating um, time spent on a painting or in a work of art equals, equals value, uh, it won't take long. There's certainly some correlations in some type of art, but I almost I almost doubt it anywhere, in any type of art. I almost, I almost think it's non-existent. The reason why I, why I say that is because, uh, here we go. In almost any type of art that you uh, you encounter, if you have been doing it for quite some time, those of you who are artists that have been doing it for for quite some time now. You guys will probably, not probably, <laughs> absolutely agree with what I'm about to say. You almost never know what uh, people perceive as value. You almost never know because, because what could be valuable to someone uh, may be something that, for example, this, is, this has happened to me countless of times where I'll, I'll, I'll paint something. Uh, let, me give you a, let me give you a good example. I used to carry around a painting like Da Vinci, right? <laughs> that, that, uh, that I painted over and over. Like I, I, I retouched till I, in my point of view, in my eye, I arrived at a very, very particular uh, very awesome technique 
like uh, like Da Vinci, an esfumato technique, you know, that, that smokiness. I, I did that on this painting because I was painting uh, wet on dry, uh, dry uh, yeah, wet on dry, so I was able to carry it around for, uh, for quite some time. I'm talking about years, okay? I carry this painting around. I would move from studio to studio carrying this painting around that I retouched over and over. And this painting became very valuable to me because not only because I had, I had done something very unique to, to me, right? Not necessarily to someone else, but to me. I had, I had practiced and rehearsed this, uh, this uh, style of, of impressionism and this, this particular sfumato technique, right? Smokiness, you see in, in, in paintings uh, many times by, by Monet. In the in the haystacks or the cathedral or you know certain paintings like or the popular popular scenes, but I man I went all at it right I worked and I worked and I worked on that painting to the point where where I was extremely extremely satisfied. Well, one time this is when I was younger. Okay, one time I was like, what am I gonna do with this painting so that I can jump on to the next one, right? Well, I decided to auction it because I auction my work on, on, on eBay. I do a lot of that. So I decided to auction it, right? So I did. And I auctioned it next to a painting, that, a smaller painting than this. Actually, the painting that I was carrying around was like a 24 by 36 inches. So it was, it was, quite, it was quite a nice big size. So those of you who are listening... <laughs> And this has happened to you, you know what I'm about to say. I auctioned it with a painting that I did in, in, a, uh, in a plein air, uh, not only style, but on site, right? I painted that. I painted that on site. I was, I was actually, I actually went out and I did the whole plein air thing and I painted in front of my subject, which I love doing from time to time. And and this painting that I did plein air, the other one, okay, let me, let me get back. The other one was plein air too. What I'm trying to say is that the plein air painting took me about maybe 20 to 25 minutes to complete, right? Plein airs are, 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 are that's why they're called quick draws, right? They're, 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 they're quick, uh, uh, they capture the, the, the scene quickly. It's, uh, it's something you practice, right? You practice how to do. And, uh, the plein air brought in, I'm not going to tell you the price because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to seem crazy, uh, but the, the plein air brought in almost 10 times more. Okay? Now that's, that's significant if you think about it. Almost 10 times more than the, the, than the and I'm talking about the, the plain air that, that took me about about 25 minutes to, to complete. Brought in 20, uh, almost 10 times more in, 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 in revenue in the auction final price than the other painting that I cherished for such a long time and that I invested all the time. Now, I'm telling you this, this did not happen to me just once, okay? This, this happened to me many times, hundreds of times, hundreds. So I have, I have data on it. It's not something I'm making up or something that, that uh, um, it's, not a, it's not theoretical. Oh, I just wanted to tell you guys, the stuff that I tell you guys here, it's not theory, okay? It's not theoretical. I'm not, I don't go open a book, read about it, and then try to talk, talk to you guys about like my experiences. Now, this is stuff that's happened to me or, or that I've seen with my own eyes, not heard about, with my own eyes, that has happened to other artists that, are, that, that I knew or close to me or, you know, that I, have, I actually have experienced. So, going back to that, I then said to myself, man, there must be something off here. If, if I'm trying to equate 
time spent with uh, value, right? Monetary value. And then it occurred to me. to look into it and, and figure out what it was. Well, it took me years to, 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 to get a, a solid, uh, uh, you know, why. Because, I, I mean, I, I heard all answers, right? I read about it, I heard all answers. But it took me years to actually experience it, like, like to, to get a real solid answer out of, out of true experience, not, not a, not someone um, or a group of people saying, well, this is why that is, right? I'm not saying that I wouldn't trust the opinion of others, but I really needed, this is something that I really needed to find out for myself. You know, like they say, you either have to be really, what, what, what's, the, what's that? <laughs> you either have to be really smart or really tough, right? To be, to be stupid, right? Well, I was, I think I was very tough because <laughs> I wasn't taking the opinions of others lightly. So I had to go figure it out for myself. And, uh, and so I did. I found out the hard way. Look, art, the value of art or of a painting of an artist has nothing to do or very little to do with the artwork itself. And this is very difficult for some artists to, to wrap their brains around because they spent all this time. They, 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 see, you think that you're selling artwork and you're not. You're selling your vision. But this is a very difficult, uh, almost abstract um, concept to understand. Because most of us are taught that, um, you know, time you spent on a, on a project equals time valuable. I don't know why. I don't know who teaches us that. Maybe our parents do. But that's definitely not true. In, in any place, that's not true. I mean, if you're, if you're a, a, I don't know, a heart surgeon, right? It's, it's not, you, 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 your value is not on the time you spent on the heart surgery. It, it's, it's just not. The value is on, on, on did, did you save the life or not? It doesn't matter if it took you five minutes or it took you three days or it took you a whole week. Did you save the life? You know, what was, was, that, was that a successful uh, procedure? That's a, that's a, a, a career, right, that, that, that uh, you can see that clearly. Also, you can see very clearly that there are many artists existing today that paint, um, that take a long time to paint something, and that's fine. Yeah, because it has nothing to do with it. Maybe they might paint like Rembrandt, but a doodle... A quick doodle by Monet or Picasso will be, you know, thousands of times more valuable. And people are like, well, it's because it's famous or this or that. It doesn't matter. For what? Really, the reason why is because a lot of people recognize the... the uh, the vision of the artist as valuable, right? That artist, that, that group of artists, or those art, or that artist, or whatever, um, made sure that the world knew their vision, that the, that the world saw their vision. So that's uh, that's what I wanted to tell you today. You know. Don't, don't get caught up on, 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 on that. Now, if your type of work requires time, then, then put in the time. I mean, you know, by all means. I know artists that paint, that, believe it or not, I know artists that paint faster than me. <laughs> believe it or not. But their thing is different. 
right? The thing is, is performance art. It's different. It's a, it's a different thing. I know artists that, that look at me and say, oh my God, that, that, that I, I would never, you know, do it how you do it because, because I have to prepare and this and that and, and you know, and that's fine too. It, it, there is no right or wrong way. It just definitely, you know, it doesn't exist. There is no right or wrong way. It's do you get the job done? Are you expressing the, the vision? Are you doing justice to your vision? Have you, have you uh, rehearsed that and, and, and practiced that and, and, and own it? And, you know, have you developed the vision? And it doesn't matter if, if the painting uh, is done because it doesn't matter because that has to do with your vision. It doesn't matter if the painting is done in in uh, in X amount of time it has no no that's not that's not the value correlation. Now the the, the cer certain galleries certain certain people might say, well you know out of all these works from the artist, this one is more valuable because you know A B or C. That's a different thing. That's a that's a gallery or 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 uh, looking for angles of how to market it. That's a very different thing. You know, you could certainly, uh, it usually has to do with provenance. It doesn't even have to do with time spent. It usually has to do with provenance. Who owned it? Who, who, who else owned that painting or that work of art? You know, well, the king of blah, 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 you know? Oh, okay, well, let's, let's, let's uh, add more value to that because Joe, you know, Schmo didn't own it. It was the king of France or, you know, whatever. And that's another way to, to add value. But, um, it definitely doesn't have anything to do, or very little, if anything, to do with, not even very little, it has nothing to do with it. The, the only, uh, reason I don't spend less time in this painting is because my my vision is not see I'm trying to I'm trying to express my vision I'm trying to express a certain a certain vision something that 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 I develop and the only reason it doesn't take half the time is because the, if it did my vision wouldn't be fully expressed that's all I hope I made any sense to you guys, at least one of you maybe, hopefully. Um, but I'll leave it at that. If the vision is complete, so is the painting. This is the way I approach my artwork. If my vision is complete, so is the painting. That's why you have artists who carry paintings around and never finish them because it, it, it has nothing to do with it, with the time amount. Some artists might be tricking to that, but it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with, did you or did you not express the vision? And if you did not express the vision, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if, if, um, if the painting is done in one hour, 10 minutes, or a hundred years. If the vision is not expressed, the artist will never think that the artwork is ready. You know, that's why we have artists like um, uh, who? Peter Max, um, Andy Warhol, artists that express the vision uh, in a more immediate way. They, they, their vision was different. Maybe Andy Warhol would have finished with this painting, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. Who knows? Maybe Peter Max would have already finished that painting. I don't know. I'm certainly not, not neither of them. So, that's, that's how you want to approach your art, I think. It's, it's, it's your, your vision. Is it done or is it not done? Not by someone else's 
um, thing, you know, idea. But is it done? For me, it's done. This is the painting. This is what I wanted to paint. This is the painting. There you go. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. Thank you so much for watching.